Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So as many of you know, we mounted a Wheelman Pro in the 4640 for a time this spring. And I used it to chisel plow my 25 acres of hay ground this year. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be mounting a Wheelman Flex in our 7600. So I'm gonna pull all the parts out of this box and I'm gonna time how long it takes me to mount this. Um, I'll get to talking a little bit more as we get to putting it on. But the last time we mounted it, it took just under two hours to mount the Pro in the 4640. And being as it, I have a little bit of experience now with it, um, I think I can make that a little bit shorter yet. So I'm gonna start my stopwatch and uh, let's start turning into this box and see what we find. All right, so here we got some wiring. This is the kit for the 7600. It is for non-premium tractors. There is a whole list of tractors that this kit will work with. Um, basically, it's for John Deere 6000 to 7000 series, and um, it works on specific ones, and you can mount it anywhere from 7600 up to a 7810 or even a 7230. So pull that out. We got the power switch. A little bit warmer out today. Uh, just hit 90s for the first time, so I'm not used to the heat yet. In this box were a bunch of spacers. What the spacers do are allow you to position the wheelman flex far enough from the steering wheel that you can turn the steering wheel. So I'm not totally sure if I'll be needing any of these yet, but I'm gonna keep them on hand just in case I do. Here is the positioning globe. This just sticks right onto the top of the tractor. Set this off to the side. Last but not least is the Wheelman Flex. So this is the Wheelman Flex. This unit is similar to the Wheelman Pro. Uh, the benefits of having the Wheelman Flex is that you can actually purchase different kits uh, from Wheelman and mount them in the several different tractors. So let's say we have this in the 7600. If we want to buy a kit for the 4640, then we could mount the kit in the 4640 and then just mount, um, remove this from the 76 and then move it over to the 46. And um, it's, once you get all the kits put on, it is really quick to switch. So it actually saves you money if you only need to run uh, the, one of these at a time, but you want to use it for several different tractors. So uh, we're gonna set this off to the side now that I have that out. We're up in the 7600 now. So here is the kit for the 76. So what it does is essentially just clamps onto the steering wheel like that. The Wheelman Flex fits behind the steering wheel. Um, on the Wheelman Flex, there is no need to remove the steering wheel. Whereas with the Wheelman Pro and like we did on the 46, uh, it does require changing the steering wheel. So how this clamps on is that there's a little tab in there that I inserted between the column and the actual steering wheel. Um, essentially what this does is it kind of helps the bracket from spinning. It helps brace it. So that clamp is going to go on there like that and then this bracket is going to fit on the bottom. So there is our anti-rotation device. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts in this. Um, I got the other kit that I'm sitting on right there. Um, that should reach out and is what the Wheelman Flex uses to keep from spinning, or you, this is what it torques against when it's turning the wheel. So this is actually a fitted top ring, which means that I shouldn't have to use one of these, but they're provided just in case. Um, essentially what they are, they're additional rings to make it fit better um, in the case that this one does not work. So if like, let's say this doesn't fit, I would put this on here like that and then tighten the gear onto it. So it seems like this should fit. I've got the main gear and the fitted top ring mounted on the steering wheel. I'm gonna go grab the Wheelman Flex and I am going to put it on here just to make sure that everything fits properly to make sure that I don't need any other of these rings. So what you gotta do 
So there's this little latch on here. You just latch that up and then unhook it. Wheelman flips up like that. Bring it up and around. That fits pretty snug. Cool. All right, so I've got the top ring mounted on properly now, and I made sure that it's centered. So if I spin the steering wheel, then it's equally spaced. So now we have this anti-rotation pin, um, which is essentially just what keeps the wheelman from turning. I am going to insert it up through this here bushing, like so, and I'm gonna mount the bushing onto the bracket, which keeps it from turning. So I don't have to do that yet. Before I mount the wheelman flex on, I'm gonna go ahead and install this on there. So that way I can just insert the pin up through and hopefully it should be perfectly lined. Flex turns on there. Now I need the pin to set on. Boy, that's secure. That's pretty tight. Now we've got the flex installed. It's time to move on to the next step. Now it's time to install the Rimu, which essentially has a bunch of gyros in it to tell the unit how the tractor is moving so that it knows how to accurately tell the tractor where to go. So by having the Rimu on here, uh, the Rimu always knows where you're at and it'll tell you where to go as well. So I'm going to install this somewhere um, secure and that way there isn't any vibrations in there to affect the gyros. Um, typically what people will do, we'll mount it on the floor or next to the seat, somewhere that's out of the way. We're at just under an hour now and it really isn't taking all that long. So I've got a little adhesive mounting plate here. I'm going to take the protective plastic off. And where I want to put this is directly over the axle. So the axle on the 7600 is actually like way back here in this area. So I'm gonna place it right about here. I want it to be in the center of the tractor so I don't have any offset measurements. And there she's pretty secure. So now the globe mounts right onto it. So I'm going to wire this up now. I'm going to run a wire up to here, run it to the unit, to the rim U, which I mounted in the floor in the 7600. And um, then I got to run it to the battery, which then will allow it to work. Keep on moving. And their voices came. And I get... I attached the wiring harness to the battery. What I did was I ran it out the back window along with all the other cables and I snuck it down and then ran it underneath. There's uh, basically a channel for wires that goes straight to the batteries, which are right up by your right foot. So uh, I'm gonna fire this up and just kind of run it through the diagnostics, make sure that it's all good to go. First thing we're gonna do is we got a power switch down here, which I haven't, uh, it actually comes with a mounting bracket, but I have not screwed it in anywhere. But we're gonna flip that on light should come on and then put that back in there's a button on the wheelman well what do you know so looks like i put this in at one hour and 26 minutes which is about 20 minutes faster than i did with the wheelman pro so i'm speeding up a little bit so the next time I go to put this into another tractor, um, when I get another kit for it, uh, it would take even less time because all I would have to do is install the kit in a new tractor, which would be the anti-rotation bracket. Um, so that would be even shorter yet. 
And then the next time I actually wanted to switch, swap them back and forth between the two tractors, it would be even less time. Uh, I'm not totally sure how short it is, but I'm hoping to get another kit here and I can show you guys just how fast you can move this thing between tractors. I just got a new update from the World app. I downloaded automatically and it's got me ready to go just like that. So I connected the wheelman to my phone. Now what I'm going to do is set up the 7600. So wheelman firmware, up, firmware update uh, needs to be installed. Do you want to update your current wheelman? Yes, I do. Install update. The update was transferred successfully. I got to cycle the wheelman on and off. I've got the 7600 down here in the pasture at Rockville and I'm going to take it through a series of calibration tests which are essentially just a bunch of turns that the unit wants me to do. So the first calibration that we're going to do is a left turn. The unit needs to calibrate how tightly the vehicle can turn left. So we've got it in a left loop right now. I'm going to hit start calibration. It says to bring the speed between 1.2 and 3.1 miles an hour which we're going about 2.5 so that's good. Maintain speed and turn the wheel all the way to the left and then tap next. So now the unit is calibrating. Left turn measurement successful. So now wheelman needs to measure how tightly the vehicle can turn right. So I'm going to get it into a right loop now. Right turn successful. Set, now let's set the vehicle on a straight line and see if auto steering can zigzag. Tap engage and keep hands off the wheel. I'd say she's doing her job. Zigzag successful. Right back where we started. The Wheelman Flex is now set up and ready to use. I am going to take the mower out to the pasture and do some mowing out there, um, but I'm going to do that on the next part of this video. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I spoke to Wheelman, and if you guys are interested in purchasing an auto steering system for yourselves, when you go to check out, enter the code JULYKISTER50 and you'll get $50 off plus free shipping when you order a Wheelman unit. It's a new day that hasn't rained in over 24 hours. Woo! So we're gonna take the Rhino out and we are going to mow out at the Klein pasture and we're gonna find some grass to cut down. We've got the Wheelman installed, she's all calibrated. We're gonna take her out and take her for a test run. here in the pasture along this fence line we are gonna start mowing this way so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the wheelman now when you first log into the app you'll log on to it and there's a dialogue that says tap here to set your way line um, your heading indicator and your cross track indicator as well which shows how far you've tr shifted away from your way line so we're gonna go ahead and hit OK we're gonna hit the upper right corner to go into the auto steering mode, we are going to do 
Heck, why don't we do a straight line? So we're gonna go ahead and set our point A where we are at now. I'm gonna drive to the end of the fence line down there and I'm gonna set my B line. So that'll give the unit the heading that it's gonna take every time that I make a pass. So we can go ahead and fire up the mower and start driving. to set our point B. We just set our AB line. So in our next pass, it's gonna be straight back and forth. Uh, when I was coming down, I had to do some maneuvering around trees and holes and rocks and whatever else uh, that were along the fence line. So this last pass wasn't the straightest, but now that I'm gonna let the auto steering take over once I get going, um, it'll be straight back and forth. So let's go ahead and turn around and make our next pass. hit engage auto steering. And the wheelman flex just took over. We've hit the end of our pass. Spin around. Going to hit engage auto steering. The wheelman took back over. Looking down at the end of the wing, I would say we're within one inch accuracy right now. Uh, obviously it's not gonna keep up that much accuracy as we go, but right now it's staying within two inches with all these bumps and everything that we're going over. That's really good. Look at all those chickens. On this last pass, I noticed that I was a little bit too far to the right. Wheelman has been adding new updates every month to improve the Whirl app. And looking at the app, what we can do is we can nudge the way line. Since we're four inches too far to the right, we're gonna nudge it about four inches to the left. I just did a skip pass. I'm gonna spin around and let the auto steering do its work. had to come out and poke around and try to get some of that fresh grass underneath. That's one of the reasons I like to come out and mow some of the grass out here in the pastures once it's all headed out. That way there's room for new growth. The cattle will have more to eat. They really don't like to touch grass once it's headed out. They like to have that fresh stuff. Woo baby! Oh! I just about had a submission for Stuck Sunday. One of the new features that I wanna show you guys is the steering options, where you can adjust the sensitivity, the attack, as well as the backlash. So the sensitivity is like adjusting how sensitive the unit is to getting back on track when it's in close proximity to the line, whereas attack, is how aggressively it'll pursue the line when you're not anywhere near where you need to be. And then there's also backlash, where backlash is 
adjusting the slack in the system if you have an older tractor with a lot of slack in the steering system. So uh, a lot of us have driven these old tractors where you turn them to the left and the wheels will turn, but then you try to turn them to the right and there's slack in the system. On the 7600, there is no slack. But on an older unit, say um, an older John Deere 4000 series, you might have a little bit of that because over time the parts wear in the steering mechanism. So by being able to adjust that backlash, when the unit turns, it'll compensate for uh, slack in the system to help you stay on track a little bit better. We've done everything we can for today. I wanted to do a little bit more, but it is still way too wet. Um, I don't want to get too crazy and go and get stuck. So in the short term, we're looking at cutting the hay out here in the pasture, and then I'll be able to take this out and get to a little bit more of the brush that's way back in the pasture provided that it does stop raining. So we're gonna pack up and head back to the farm. We got the Wheelman Flex all set up and she's running good. We're gonna be using it more in the next coming weeks to cut hay and cut oats. Uh, it's getting a little bit later in the year than I would have liked to cut the oats, but with the weather the way it's been, it really can't be helped. But uh, reasons you might wanna have an auto steering system in your tractor, especially one like we do for the 76 is because we use this tractor for seriously everything and uh, by having an auto steering system in the 76 it'll help us save passes out in the field it'll help us save time um, really it'll just help you be more economical and it, especially for the larger farmer um, these days auto steering is almost a must if you're spending a lot of time out in the field if you're spending a full day out there Having an auto steering system is really gonna help you reduce your fatigue while you're out there. And um, in the past, I've noticed that by using auto steering, you really do notice a difference at the end of the day on how tired you are, especially if you're working more than one job. Um, I stay up late at nights working on videos and making pictures and uh, going out and doing photography, stuff like that. And um, by having an auto steering system in the tractors, the days where I have an auto steering system, I can definitely tell, especially when we're out doing tillage. This unit, the Wheelman Flex, you can get for under $4,500. There's no subscription fees with it, and you don't even need a monitor. You can just use your phone like I do. If you're looking for a lower cost auto steering system, Wheelman is the way to go. So after installing it, I mean, that sucker is secure on there. I don't have to worry about hitting it when I'm climbing in and out of the tractor. I'm really not worried about it. It's definitely farm proof. All that play that you see in there is just in the steering wheel. Um, the wheelman itself is very secure to the steering column. That's about it for this video. I was hoping I could get some more footage, but unfortunately I don't think I can get across some of those uh, lower spots to get out to the rest of the pasture. I don't want to really want to risk it and uh, becoming a stuck sub Sunday submission. So with that, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.